praise be to Jesus. Good morning, friends. Today, the second Sunday of Elijah. Readings are Deuteronomy chapter 7, verses 7 to 11, Isaiah chapter 30, verses 18 to 26, Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 14 to chapter 3, verse 3, Gospel of St. Matthew chapter 13, verses 1 to 9, and 18 to 23. Therefore, brothers, stand firm and hold fast to the traditions that you are taught either by an oral statement or by a letter of ours. The reading from Deuteronomy reminds the people that God chose them, liberated and protected them, not because of their merits, but because of his love for them. God's mercy and love on us must be acknowledged and not just taken for granted. And your ears shall hear a word behind you. This is the way, walk in it. When you turn to the right or to the left, you shall defy your silver, plated idols and your gold-covered images. You should throw them away like filthy rags. Isaiah chapter 30, verses 21 and 22. The letter to Thessalonians is asking us to remain firm in the tradition. The gospel passage is the parable of the sower. Same sower sow the same seed everywhere. Some yielded hundredfold, some yielded sixty, some thirty, some seeds could not sprout, some dried up after sprouting, and some were suppressed by thorns and thistles. The difference was in the quality of the soil. We are believers. We live by faith. We obey the commandments of God, whom we have not seen. Someone, parents, teachers, sisters, priests, told us that the commandments are God-given. We live in the de- democratic age. What majority holds is truth. If someone is re-elected by hook or crook, whatever scam or crime he did, are justified. Henry VIII said that he should get his marriage with Catherine annulled so that he could marry Anne Boleyn. All the parliamentarians in England said that he was right, except Thomas More. All the bishops approved of his steps, except Bishop John Fisher but both of them lost their heads. So shall we go with the crowd, prayer, penance, fasting, privately, then prayerful discussions, etc. are outdated. Do we seek God's plans, the word, through shouts, threats, intimidations, rallies, preconditions, etc. We should discern the will of God only in prayer, contemplation, forgiveness, love and trust in God. Shall we claim to be knowing the truth, knowing everything? We are limited and we depend upon God for light and guidance. Let us pray. Lord, we worship you and we thank you Through the parable of the sower and the seeds, you have taught us that if you do not prepare our hearts to receive your word, the word would not yield a hundredfold harvest. Bless us, O Lord, to be prepared to receive the word of God and that the word may flourish, yield fruits in us. Thank you.